UDJ. Yes, Lenisco. I need you to do something for me. What's that? Can you please explain, mm-hmm. first off, mm-hmm. this is a game that exists, right? Well, I mean, I'm holding it right here. It's in the console and it's booting, it, so... It's, it's getting up there. I did not know this game existed. And I know precisely why you own it. Uh-huh. But why does this exist? Uh, well, why don't we just go ahead and uh, oh, let's take a look at the... Uh, the well-known Sammy Studios. Oh, dimps. Oh, dimps. Oh, dimps. You guys always disappoint me. Sometimes you surprise me, but you often disappoint. Huh. Oh my god, is this secretly Skies of Arcadia? It's not sky enough. Looks kind of industrial. Uh, yeah, we're going down to, to Colony 6 or whatever it is. Alright, well, uh, if you know anything about me... Uh-huh. One of my absolute favorite movies of all time. Yes. The movie I can just I can just point back and just say that's that's one of my favorite movies. No matter what. Can is, I answer? Is Akira Kurosawa's 1954 samurai epic Seven, Seven samurai. samurai. Very fitting we do this on December 7th for the seventh game in our advent calendar. So I mean hey, I think you planned I, that. I, I kind of did plan oh. it a little bit. So uh for comparison's sake, uh, I have brought my copy of the original <laughs> Seven Samurai. Oh, yes, the Criterion Whoa! Collection. Yes. Three DVD set. Uh, the movie is on two discs, and the third one's full of a whole bunch of special features. This is one of my prized possessions. It's It's got a little booklet in there talking about the making of, 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 of the film. And, wow. But Seven Samurai is one of my absolute all-time favorite films. It just, it just the way it, it it's acted, you know, it's a great story. A lot of, you know, and, you know just... Wonderful, wonderful uh, introduction into uh, the world of Akira Kurosawa. Two hundred and seven minute runtime. It is. It is about over three hours. It long. is over three hours long, which is why I re- I recommend people to watch The Hidden Fortress instead, because it's kind of like Seven Samurai, but it's an hour and a half, and it's much more uh, audience pleasing. This this one's you know very has had a lot of sweeping you know philosophical moments, and it's a very deep story. And you know I I love it though, of course. But um. Right, that's Seven Samurai. Why? It, what is this then? Yeah, it says. What, what se- is this? It says Seven Samurai. Oh, uh, yeah, it says Seven Samurai on it, but uh, you didn't see what else it says on it. It says Seven Samurai Twenty XX. No. Twenty XX. A futuristic version. They took Seven Samurai <laughs> and they fucked it up worse than Samurai Seven did. <laughs> Yeah, baby. To really, to, to really drive home the point of how much they really appreciate Akira Kurosawa and his work, they hired a French artist, yeah, named Mobius, to to fling us instead of in like the 13th century, far, far into like the 24th and yes, a half century. Yes, yes. Dirge of Severus. Yeah. And and instead of uh, you know the the the, the Cerberus. What 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 even is this? This oh, looks it's Lloyd Irving. This, this looks like a Time Stalkers Get kind him. of... Oh my god, this screams Final Fantasy VII. I love it. Ah! Oh my god. Now I know why you wanted to talk about this one. <laughs> I found out about this game before I found out about the movie, though. So I was in high school when this came out. 2004 this came out. Woo! 2005, okay. I think. And, uh... I used to watch G4 all the time, and this popped up on G4, and they were tearing it apart because of how bland and terrible G4 it is. G4 talked about this one? Uh-huh. Whoa! And then I, uh, I, uh-huh. uh, when I was early into college, I found Seven Samurai, and that was just, you know, eye-opening, amazeballs, fucking, this is one of the greatest films I've ever seen. It's, it's incredible. So then I, I thought to myself... What now if, that I know... What if game? What if game? What <laughs> if indeed? What if indeed? It's still got Kurosawa Production Corporator right there, right next to Mobius. It's just... Oh, this is weird. I'll press that start oh, button, baby. Let's get, let's get it going, oh, yeah! Boy. Oh, boy. New game! New game. Let's jump right... Hmm. Oh, did your memory card not work? Nothing about this is normal. Oh, okay. Let's do it. I hate it when people try to ruin uh, uh, Kurosawa's, you know, films and put them into like movies and games and like that. I never watched Se- I never watched Samurai Seven because it's not Seven Samurai. How do you know if you haven't watched it? 
Kikuchio is a fucking mech. That's fucking hysterical. So, so, so look, so, <laughs> so look at the box there of 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 the movie. Uh, okay, yeah, you got it there. Yeah, Where, yeah. Where's the uh, box? In the movie? You, you took it back. Oh, okay. Give me back your Criterion. Okay. Here is here's the box of the movie. You see that there's six circles and the logo's kind of covering it, but there's a there's a triangle there. Yeah, there's, there's the last one. Well, Kikuchio was a bandit who uh, allegedly has samurai uh, uh, background, but he kind of stole it, so he's not really a samurai. That's why they made him a triangle because he's not really a samurai. Gotcha. Until he, until the end when he makes a selfless sacrifice and achieves honor and death, even though he's been like a coward and a brute and a bully and a drunkard. I just thought he wasn't a well-rounded character. So, Seven Samurai opens up with a village being raided by bandits. We're good so far. Well, well not being raided by bandits, like, you know, threatened to be raided by bandits, like, Oh, hey! This, that's a village down there! Hey, we should take all their rice! Yeah, sounds good, we'll come back later. Oh, well, here we are. So, upon hearing this, uh, they decide, uh, the, the village elder decides to send some men into a nearby village to find hungry, masterless samurai who might help some lowly farmers for nothing but millet and gruel and rice. Because they're fucking poor, too. Okay, so help for food. So, they go they go in there, they were, they were hoping to find, like, maybe, you know, three to five, but they happen to find how many? Uh, six. They find seven. Oh. Well, they got six- they found seven volunteers, they found six guys who are sam- who are legit samurai who don't have any more masters because, you know, the war's kind of over and all that. Mm. And then they found, uh, Kikuchio, who often shows up. He's just there. He's just there. He's- he's, a uh, played by Toshiro Mifune, who, uh, is a legendary actor, I may say. Where do I go? Oh, this is fantastic. You can't even read what your strategy is. Or you might be able to. You actually uh, speak Japanese. Who the fuck is not Toei? Is that what it says? That's oh what, yeah, that's, that, what, that's, that's who his are. name is. But who the fuck is not Toei? He wasn't a character in the movie. There was there was a young uh, samurai guy who has a little bit of a, a listen to a fair, you know, a little bit of you know, a little bit of a you know, couple, of, couple of tender moments with mm -hmm. one of the ladies from the village, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, something samurai don't do, you know. They, 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 no, they right, right. do all that, but uh, wow. it, it, it was like, you know, it was like, oh, well, he's, he's put shame on us, but then, you know, because they're about to probably face death because they're about to face 40 fucking bandits, they go, <laughs> well, that's not too bad. They, they kind of laugh it off. Did he get slower when he put his swords back? No, I, th I think no, I think he just he just he just lumbers around. Maybe. I wonder where I go. Hmm. Is this a beat em up? I think it's trying to go for that, but already uh, this is not how the story begins. You know, you just you just gave me the James Rolfe vibe. Where was that in the movie? <laughs> I I love it. I love it. I get to hear you geek out about Seven Samurai while so um, <laughs> while beating up Seven Samurai Twenty XDX. I have I have a uh, I have a cast Strange of characters in the enclosed instruction no. book. Oh yes 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 yes. Can I can I read? Foul. And there is only one character that I can see who actually makes it back. The first cutscene here. Oh yes yes. Big bad. Those villagers are mine, Samurai boy. No. I don't See, they didn't so. have a big, big buff guy like this. They were just bandits. On horses, and they were dangerous, and they were bloodthirsty. Well, this guy, he's just buffed to hell. Uh -oh. a party, just eh? attack, whatever that is. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, no, but, that's okay. But I think I'm doing pretty okay. Here, let, let me read you some background about our main character here, Natoe. Okay, Natoe, go for Okay, it. He, this young hunter has been trained in swordsmanship by the great warrior Musashi since he was a child. Musashi? Yep. Get out of here! Oh, let's hear about Jody. Jody! She, she is an orphan Jody? child who was brought to the Hermitage by Musashi when Natoi was seven years old. Jody is Natoi's best friend. Childhood friend trope. Hinata. Okay, there we go. Hinata is a mysterious girl who has uh, who is being sought by both the agent and humanoids. Oh, we're dealing with not, humanoids. Not <laughs> humanoids. Uh, when were there humanoids? There's no humanoids. Combe. When do we train the villagers to fight? An age warrior who excels in the art of strategy. Kambe Shimada is the only character who is really in this because he, oh, he, he was played by. Uh, oh, I forgot. Was was about to. He, uh, he's played by a guy named Gorbe, I think. Yeah. But anyway, Kambe is, uh, he, he's the oldest of the samurai, and of course he's the most, uh, bitter and world-weary. 
because yes, oh he he wins his, he wins the battles that he, that he does all the time. He always wins, but he always loses in the long run too. So let me uh, let me ask you this. So you see what he's doing there when he's rubbing his head? Yeah. yeah. The first time we see Kambe is we're following the villagers in, into the, into the uh, into the city mm -hmm. to look for samurai. And, the, and they find some commotion at, at like a like, like a like a hostage situation or whatever. Yeah. So this guy decides to shave his head and dress like a monk. Oh. Inconspicuous. That way, that way, you know, he uses his wits, not so much his sword, to make sure the guy you know gets out and you know as much bloodshed is is avoided. So throughout the whole thing, because his hair is growing back, he's always you can always see him rubbing his head. Parting this is his hair back. This is all no, like because it's growing back. He, he shaves it completely bald. Oh, okay. this is also a great way to determine because it's a black and white film. The other samurai. So you, you, you look at this guy. He's rubbing his head. You can't see his face because he's rubbing his head. Oh, that's combat. That's combat. Interesting. So I have a quick question. Uh huh. Since combat was actually in Seven Samurai, is he based on any mythology, or is he just a good character? He might just be a good character. They got some really okay. smart, yeah, smart people worked on this movie. Okay, cool. Hold on, let me see. And then we get to, to what are these oh, oh. what are these characters' names? Oh, God. What is going on with this game? Oh, dude, we got some real winners. We in got here. some real winners. Okay, here. we got a dude in a white suit. His name is W. W. He is an agent of the city and member of the group compromised of people with advanced abilities. Hey, that guy you just killed. His name is Zex. Zex? A large humanoid. Zex Marquis, that's a fucking Gundam Wing character. Who strikes fear in all who see it? Not not with a last name, just Zex. Uh, as if strikes fear in all who see him, Zex lives for the, uh, the high that bloody carnage and war gives him. Is there, like, a lock-on feature? It feels like I'm just kind of swinging my sword uh, and stuff is getting hit. R1 do anything? Or any of the R buttons do anything? No! Or maybe clicking the stick? Was that a thing? Oh. Uh oh Uh, brings up the map. What? Right. Okay. Hopefully that's not my controller dying. Anyway, uh, the next character is Dick. An honest villager and a man of few words. Dick's priority is the village and his action reflect that. There's a... Actions reflect that, excuse me. I forgot his name, but uh, there's another uh, samurai who just... Uh, he, they find him just by chopping wood. Hmm. And really, he, he helps not out of the you know, goodness of, you know, any, any you know, status or riches or whatever, mm -hmm. but just because it's the right thing to do. The right thing to do. But the thing is, at the end of the movie, four of the seven samurai die. Oh, well, spoilers, dude. And at, at the very end of the movie, the farmers go back to happily singing their rice their, their rice songs as they plant rice and prepare for a new harvest. And there's joy and happiness that the bandits have been defeated. And then you have the other three samurai kind of just standing there now that their purpose is kind of done. After they're, they've fulfilled their purpose, they have to, their mission. The young guy manages to live, and he sees the girl who he had an affair with, he had that affair with, you know, working in the fields, and she just kind of, you know, hey. br brushes him off. And so that's the true place of samurai, to no, just... No honor. Ser serve in the fight, and then that's it. Hmm. And that's why Kambe hates fighting nowadays, because, you know, I always, I always win, but I always lose, you know? It's a great shot of the three of them standing before these four graves of where the four samurai were buried. Uh, good. Well, it seems like it's a very serious film. It's, it's, it is, it is a serious film, but it's also very action-y. It, like, if you want a more contemplative movie experience, like, you know, the kind, the kind of movie that you watch with, like, you know, a, you know, a, a corn cob pipe and, you know, a nice, <laughs> nice silk robe and... You know, maybe a maybe a, a, a notepad, pen and pad, or whatever to, to to take notes and you know just kind of look at things. It's I like movies that you you watch it and you kind of forget you're watching a movie. You know. See, I love that you that you uh, confirmed that it was indeed a very uh, it's very action oriented, but it also it, you know it's kind of a chill film. See, there's there's three acts of the film. The first act is of course finding the samurai and kind of getting to know them as they go back. The second one, the the second act is getting back to the village and also training the villagers. That's a big thing. Train the villagers. They made tons of bamboo spears. They taught them how to fight. They took these tim these uh, timid uh, farmers and turned them into you know you know warriors and all that. Oh my god, he does the sheath thing when he's done with combat. And then of course the third act is the war itself, the actual battle, who lives, who dies. It's a very climactic finale, and there's an intermission in between, so it doesn't feel like three and a half hours. But that's just me. But I also recommend Hidden Fortress because uh, that's one of the films that influenced Star Wars, actually. The entire time we're we're uh, watching these characters from like the bot like the bottom two characters of of the game basically. 
Like, uh, you know, Star Wars was told by like R two D two and C three PO's point of view mostly. I'm so happy that this <laughs> that this is a one shot because you get to enjoy talking about one of your favorite films, and I get to let you know that there's a comic relief character in this game. <laughs> it's probably Kikuchio. It's mad Cause, because Kikuchio, because it was it was uh, done by Toshi Mifune, who is if, if you've ever seen Rashomon, another one of hers, I was great. He was. Yeah, he's always like, yo. <laughs> Maddie he's... works hard to protect Hinata from the humanoids. He talks a lot and often speaks before thinking. <laughs> oh boy. And then we got Al. Who cares about Al? I don't care about Al. Oh, dude, I can send a postcard into Sammy Studios in California? Why? Oh, it's to register your copy of the game. Yeah, I got, I got this as at a used game store. Oh, well. It's pretty good condition still. Yeah, it's not bad. Nice. I think it's one of those uh, used game stores that if it looks too crap, they go, nah, no. So, uh, I kind of see where the glowing review from G4 came in and the fact that you are still fighting the exact same enemies I mean, after a boss fight. I mean, you, you can see the crazy combos I'm pulling off here. They're really complicated to pull off. Dante's crying in the corner. Do you, do you know how difficult it is to pull off these sick combos, Niskel? I believe I've heard you tapping the button non-stop. Yep. Okay, why don't you do it a bit more into the microphone just so everybody can hear. Aw, uh, sick combos, dude. All I'm doing is pressing square over and over again, and he's just... Just doing it. He, he's, even auto-aims, it's just, hilarious. He's just doing it. It's, it's, it must feel so bad for them to work on this entirely original story from these characters, and, you know, they worked hard on all these character designs, they hired this this French artist, they got, you know, they, they, get, they got this whole world set up and all that, only for the game to play like utter washed cardboard. That was easy. Yeah, sheath that thing. All right, so that's five rooms with the same enemies, just waiting on the finish line. Very linear. But that's okay. There was a lot of stuff coming out on PS2. One of the lines I remember is, go into a brown room, hit square, go into another brown <laughs> room, hit square. <laughs> was that Adam Sessler? It was either Adam Sessler or, like, you know, the Judgment Day guys, like <laughs> Tommy Tommy and Victor Lucas. Oh, cutscene, here we go. Holy shit! Is that pre-rendered? Huh? No, it's an engine. Let's the power it. of the PS2. Oh, great, more enemies. I haven't seen them yet. Brown corridor slash. Yeah, here we go again. Man, oh, except, yeah, we're in a corridor now. Ooh. See, I absolutely love that this was before subtitles were invented. Whoa. Uh, you're, yo, please don't die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We wave dashing, wave dash, wave dash. <laughs> we're out of here, we're out of here. And we're stuck. Oh, wait, do you have to kill them all? as the explosion's coming towards you. So you need to kill enough enemies before you die. This that is, is, that is, is indeed what's happening. That is indeed what's happening. Everyone's dead. Do I press this? Uh, maybe kill those dudes? Because uh, it's, it's coming. It's coming. Here, here it comes. Aha! Uh -huh. What? You actually did have to slash that thing? Or, no. Or are you just dead? Oh, please tell me it's a game over. Over here! Huh? Damn it. Hey, it's Al! You know, what, my, my favorite moment in Seven Samurai was when uh, Kikuchio and, and Gorobe, they, they get locked into an industrial vent and they gotta escape before the, the whole place blows up, Michael Bay style. I just love the fact that he was like, Up here! Here it comes! Eh, explosion slowly coming. Hurry, let's go! I, I, I think we can walk, actually. Oh, Al, was, uh, you did brisk it. pace? I told you I'd it's find like him. a mile See? back that way. So, this was all planned, huh? Yeah, they told me this cool warrior guy saved them from the humanoids, so I said he must be a samurai. No, he's no samurai. I know he is! The kind who helps people! Tell him you're a samurai! Oh, my so he's right. making me very sad. I'm not. I, I think that's Kanemata. I, I know you don't mean it! I know you're gonna help Quiet. us! Quiet! Take Seven off, they're coming samurai back! 20 XDX. All right. Come on, let's go! Uh... Hurry. Behind the voice actors, I gotta see this. Please. Wasn't there supposed to be bandits? It's like, well, go get them. Like rice. Kill the bandits. Rice. Only rice. <laughs> we don't kill anybody until like. Well, that doesn't make an interesting game. Then why on. would you make a game out of it? Why would? Why didn't you make a fucking movie out of Redbeard or Yojimbo or, or throw it a blood or something? 
Ma hell, make a, make a game out of highs and lows. That'd be fun. Try and find your missing son. Well, hey, at least we eventually got the the Kurosawa Samurai game that everybody seemed to enjoy. Oh, oh yeah. Did you enjoy that one, by the way? Uh, actually, there 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 are quite a few I can think of. There was uh, see, Neo to me. I, th that gives me Kurosawa things because I've seen so many of his samurai flicks, which are some of his most beloved, of course. But uh, Ghost of Tsushima is what you're thinking of, I think, for Kurosawa? Yeah, that's it. And, uh, yeah, they're big Kurosawa fans, you can big tell. Stuff. They, I, I tried the black and white menu mode for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I exactly like, my god, the flower shots and everything. Damn. By the way, this voice cast is fucking stacked. What the hell? No, they, yeah, they got they, they got you know, paid so much Whoa. for the paid so much for the art, paid so much for the Sony license, paid so much for the Seven Samurai license, only for it to play like poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, your pain it gives me life. Uh. Oh shit. Like, I'm expecting a cameo from Richard Gere. <laughs> in the 90s, uh, Kurosawa made some very confusing, awful films. People people call Rhapsody in August, like, his his worst movie. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Can I see the instruction manual again? Yeah. Who the hell is Tay? Tay? Tay. Tay. Did I, did I look, did I find a Tay? Hold on, hold on. Characters, please. The Rhapsody in August was an anti-war uh, message, like like, uh, like the bomb, 1955, 1945. He did it in like 1992, I think, and it was basically saying, "Man, the Japanese sure were blameless in that nuclear bomb attack, weren't they?" You were kidding. Uh huh. No, yeah, uh -huh. I mean your main character's voiced by Liam O'Brien. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh shit! Holy crap! So it's a, it's a lot of congealed, greasy awfulness coming from this game. Jameson Price is W? This is gonna be the sexiest character in this game, holy shit! I'm losing my mind here! There's like really good talent in here! And God, I don't care about what's happening in these corridors! There you go. I've just spent the last 20 minutes gabbing about Seven Samurai and pressing the square button. <laughs> Something about so, villagers? What so, about so, bandits? So, so Who's that big guy? Uh, where's the- where's the rice at? So, uh, <laughs> you finally got your rice game. It's called Sakuno of Rice and Ruin. Oh, I love that game. I know you do. <laughs> because it's rice. It's, it's- 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 it's also fun and You just and fucking wonderful. love rice. Rice every day. I do like rice. One of my favorite quotes from this movie was, uh, the- the, the, the elder of the villages, again, huh? you know, who told them to go and find samurai. There's one member who's like, you know, oh. Oh, these men here, the Always samurai. Like oh, the, well, the ladies will be like, oh, sweeter them and all that. And, really oh, really. With him. Actually, and uh, kill me. really, your, your man oh, says, friendly. you fool. These things have been attacking bandits are coming. Villages, you know. Careful, your head is on the block. You. And all you care about are your whiskers. Perish. <laughs> I think See, it's that's what, that's what I mean by like philosophy. It's you know, got like a you know, it's a, it, it's a contemplative uh, war movie. <laughs> Yeah, and get decked in the face. Oh, oh yes, uh, my favorite was when uh, <laughs> was when Yohei gets decked in the face by the bandits. <laughs> There's robot. a fucking haymaker out of nowhere. <laughs> Shit. Hey, samurai! Boom! boom. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, they. <laughs> that, that's that's right. They they, they found those uh, those discarded samurai armors and, and swords. <laughs> then they then they drank sake from what they found. And then they fought a gigantic robot before the bandits came the next morning. I remember it, of course. It's got like a Spanish. I forgot about that part. It's got a Spanish name too, Gigantes. Oh, oh yeah, Gigantes. You know, Gigantes. I, I, I course, saw was definitely always about uh, making fucking haymakers from Gigantes. Right oh, in your oh, yes. French Japanese face. Gigantes was certainly the, the, my favorite, uh, you know, <laughs> character in the Kurosawa universe. <laughs> My favorite part was when Thanos showed up at the end and used the Infinity Stones to bring to bring all the samurai back to life. Oh my God! All the then samurais. Then he said, "Reality can be whatever I make of it. Oh. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful." Oh, why don't we only have six samurai? Then it would yeah, there would be balance. The whole thing should be. Oh, you almost got him. All right, just a couple more. Please get, please get rid of the Spanish robot. Boy, keep, you. boy, I'm d mashing X works better than mashing or mashing square works better than mashing square and X because X is like that dodge move. Oh, this game is, uh, terabad. I mean, it's mindless. 
Yeah, it's mindless. It was good. Oh, it was that's a, it, it's it's based on a movie that is not mindless. That, Jody. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about now. If you made a, 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 a game like this for out of bullet train, oh, that makes sense. Oh, hold on. Get off my case. You're the one who walked oh, out of Michelle you Ruff. You've got Please. Hey, you're where killing are you me. Going? Nato? Come back. I hope I hope your next game is better than this one. Holy shit. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, we stage. did it! We, we, we did it! Wonderful <laughs> happiness. Shit. Summer salts? Wait, Wait what calories? Is, what is all of these stats? <laughs> you put all these fucking stats in, but you didn't make it fun? Oh, I didn't even activate my Nitoryu, whatever that Why is. Why did you do that? I had, I had plenty of Itoryu. 863 attacks? I hope that's a damage count, did, not no the charge. number of times you hit the button. Total hit probability, 80%. Oh my god! You guarded once. Good job. Just stop. And it or graded you? It graded you for half of this shit! Oh, how dare you, 7 Samurai 20XX! Oh, XX. oh you, you burnt 2,000 calories. Good job, man. But I burnt 1.5? Man, it fucking feels like I'm Wait, sweating. is this secretly a health game? Oh, God. Burn calories by pressing buttons. That's why it's so mindless. I got something else I can burn. You know what? Is, is this a good place to to call a timeout here so you don't ruin a piece of your PS2 collection? Is uh, are, are there any more cutscenes? Because there's got to be more than just, you know, show up at the wherever oh, we were to do the whatever God. we were doing. And, uh, d w Please, why do we, another cutscene. Why did we do what we were doing? Why was anything happening? Because rice. Always because rice. So they're like going to steal their crops and, and they're going to like, you know, like kill their rice. men and, and, and women all that. And, and just... Mm -hmm. They, they wouldn't be able to survive the winter otherwise. Oh my god, is your memory card having a stroke? It's... I've gone over this before. It's a, it's a 16 megabyte memory card, which Ooh. means it takes twice as long to save and load. Gotcha. But it can hold twice as much, so there's that. Hey, that's cool. Hey. Alright, show me that beautiful cutscene. Chapter 1, to the Silver Bridge. I remember when they went to the Silver Bridge of the movie. It didn't happen! It didn't happen! Where was that in the movie? <laughs> It all comes back to James. <laughs> oh shit, there's no cutscene. Oh, it's another corridor! <laughs> it's another corridor! Alright, to protect your no. sanity. How, how about I give you a little something? Here, here, let me let me, let me find it. Hold on, let me find it. Perish. Oh wait, hold on, there's, there's oh, more. Wait. More dudes! More dudes! Hey, check it out. That's how we evolved the game. Now we're in a gray room. Oh, the evolution. Oh jeez. I, I went to the map. Alright. Oops. Well... Anyway, here you go. Merry Christmas. Hey, what, 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 what is, Merry what Christmas. Is, okay, okay, I hope me, you enjoy. Here, here, here. Go, go ahead and match square for a bit. Gotcha! And I'm gonna go ahead and open this present. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you really love making me suffer, don't you? <laughs> See you next time! Wow. I found a glitch! It's not auto-targeting! Help! We gotta wait for an enemy to get close enough, and then- yeah. <laughs> I killed it with the back swing! Oh, that's great! Am I to believe you could just press square this whole time? Oh my god, just... they're dying via back swing. Oh my god! This is Ah, damn it. This is pathetic. This game is pathetic. This game deserves better. Go watch Seven Samurai. Go, hell, go watch Samurai 7. Hell, go watch The Magnificent 7. Go watch anything. Go watch Go watch anything better than this. Play better games, too. Which hopefully tomorrow will be, so see you then.